welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the technique of gravimetric analysis and how you carry this out. Gravimetric analysis is a technique used with solid products. These products can be the products of a precipitation reaction or through volatilization where you're trying to get rid of water. The first step is to weigh a dried crucible. To dry a crucible, you heat it strongly on a Bunsen for around 10 minutes. Here the crucible weighs 31.79 grams. We're then going to weigh out around 2 grams of hydrated barium chloride. The crucible is then placed on a Bunsen and heated strongly for around 5 to 10 minutes to try and drive off any water within the hydrated barium chloride. After this time, the crucible is removed from the heat. It is allowed to cool inside a desiccator. Cooling the barium chloride inside a desiccator allows it to cool without absorbing water. The desiccator does not aid the drying of the barium chloride. Once fully cool, the crucible and the lid are weighed again. The new weight is noted and the crucible and the lid are once again heated strongly for around 5 to 10 minutes on the blue flame of a Bunsen. After the heating process, the crucible and lid are allowed to cool once more in the desiccator before being weighed again. This process is repeated until we reach constant mass. This means we get two readings of the same mass. There are three terms that you need to be familiar with for gravimetric analysis. The first is weigh accurately about. If you were asked to weigh accurately about 5 grams, you would be expected to weigh within the region of 5 grams, but write down the actual value on the balance. For example, if you had a 3 decimal place balance, then you might get a reading of 5.015 grams. This is around about 5 grams, but you know exactly how much you've weighed out. The second term is heat to constant mass. This is where you need to repeat the heat, cool in a desiccator and weigh cycle until you get two values where the mass does not change. The third term you need to be familiar with is that of the desiccator and its function. The function of a desiccator is not to dry the solid. The desiccator allows the hot solid to cool without absorbing water. You need to be clear that it does not dry the solid. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards every day. Bye for now!